The tower is the only home most guardians have ever known, and I swore an oath to defend it with my life, an oath that I have honored for all these years. I have given my time to defending our city, our last hope on earth. I reported for my next mission as usual, expecting it to be nothing special. But I was wrong. She explained that there was a signal coming from Phobos and gave me a new experimental weapon. And that is when I realized this mission was going to be very different. This large base was believed to house the Skyburner's fleet, the Cabal's elite attack unit, and the increased radio chatter had the Vanguard Council concerned that there was an imminent attack. My mission was to infiltrate the base and report back to Commander Zavala. And so I left, ready to defend my city, ready to defend my planet. Onwards to the stars. Guardian. This is Commander Zavala. The Cabal base on Phobos is blasting a signal across all channels. They're willing to break transmission silence. This could be a prelude to a full-scale assault. We're setting down on Phobos now. I'll be monitoring your feed, Ghost. Good luck to you both. I was here, fleet base Chorus, the largest Cabal orbital defense system in our solar system. What the hell was that? Fingertips on the surface of my mind. Yes, thank you for your input, Eris. I could tell that something was wrong. I scanned this dead Cabal body, this weird black mock under it, and my ghost sent the data back to Commander Zavala and his team. I knew it could not be good, and so I prepared to hear the worst and did my best not to touch it, worrying that I had already stepped into some of it. It almost looked like a weird virus was taking over the ship. That is when I saw it. A strange aperture opened like a jaw and swallowed the cabal. And then came the transmission. This mission is scrubbed. Guardian, get to your ship and get out of there. But the warning was too late. I was already infected. Zavala, we made it to our ship. I knew I could not return to Earth. I needed to find a cure. And then a strange whisper, Black, Black garden. garden, Black, Black garden. garden. I did not know the coordinates, but Venus was our best option. The archives contained much knowledge, and hopefully we would find the coordinates there. Venus had been reclaimed by the jungle, dragonflies flying around, volcanoes smoldering. But the archives still stood, and there was a chance I could get some answers. The academy was unlike anything I had ever seen before. Massive troves of knowledge, books all over the shelves. You could get lost for weeks searching for knowledge. Hopefully we could find our answers here. And then the whisper again. 
but this time it just said below. No. about keeping people out. Not a problem. After you. Unbelievable. The archive's power is still partially activated. Please enter your security clearance code. Dr. Shim? Never mind that. Let's hit that terminal up ahead. This place is amazing. It's bigger than the archives in old Acro. Shall I begin correlation of Vexmind core samples? So polite. Well, let's see what they've got. Dr. Shin, security breach detected. Intruders, initiate protocol 19. These coordinates put the gate to the Black Garden near the lost city of Freehold. It's been buried in the sand since the collapse. I don't think we'll get a second chance at this. I will return in to Mars. I had come full circle from moon to planet. Maybe that is why this virus or whatever it was was on Phobos. It has some connection to Mars. But this was my chance. I finally had the coordinates to the Black Garden, not knowing what I would find but hoping that I would at least get some answers. In the years since the collapse, much of Mars has returned to the desolation that came before the Traveler. But buried beneath its surface are traces of the glimmering megacities that once sprawl across the planet, swallowed by dunes and darkness. And I found it. What looked like a weird portal a gigantic flex gate. This had to be the entrance to the Black Guard. I hope this works. Where are we? If this is the Black Garden, it's not on any map of known space and time. I guess we just keep going? This unknown virus was spreading. I could feel myself fighting to control my own body. My own muscles didn't want to listen to me. What was happening to me? I needed answers. This labyrinth gave me so much time to think. Was this the darkness? The Pujari position described the darkness as a force with both physical and moral presence. Their art depicted the darkness as a great storm or as a change in conduct, a corruption that emerged from within and poisoned the golden age. Was I now being poisoned? Was the darkness re-emerging and using me as a vessel? Is my body being taken over, devoured? I think we found the Black Garden's heart. I felt a sudden surge of power, unlike anything I've ever felt before. It is almost as if this virus, this parasite, knows that it is close to home. I feel conflict within me. Something is telling me there is a deeper truth, and I'm about to find out what it really is.
All we need is permission to enter as a gate lord. I could sense something on the other side of the door. Something powerful pulling me in like a magnet. And the whispers in my head grew stronger. Nothing or everything. I was the first guardian to set foot in the heart of the Black Garden, and there it was a surging black mass of darkness calling out to me. I could feel the power. I could see why it was being worshipped, and then the whisper came again, and told me there was a test. was still here and there was a sudden surge of power I felt different more different than before extremely powerful and then the voice was no longer whisper but loud and clear out there wavering between the light and the dark a side should always be taken a little light even if it's the wrong side <laughs> 